Hey yo folks, um, welcome. I'm gonna show you how to change uh, your wire on your MIG welder. Uh, so first thing, you're gonna make sure that the power is off. Uh, you, ha you do have to pick your welder up and put it on the table. Um, and then you're gonna check that it's off, uh, switch pointing down. Uh, it is possible to shock yourself um, by touching the, uh, so open up the cabinet. Um, it's off now. So the wire is safe. You wouldn't want to touch the wire, um, if it was on. Okay. So, um, notice there's little holes here in the spool. I'm going to cut this wire holding onto, holding onto the wire with my other hand. So holding with this hand, cutting with this hand. And I want to catch those two little holes. I can just turn this. So there's the holes right there. So I'm going to tuck the wire. I'll pull it further. Tuck the wire into the hole and then pull it through like that. And I can, I can kink it. This is so that um, the wire is not going to unravel. Okay, on this side, I'm going to flip. This is called the pressure assembly. This is the drive roller. The drive roller pushes the wire through the MIG gun. This is the pressure assembly. I'm going to unhook it. You'll see that it popped up. And then I can pull my wire through the gun. So pull the wire through. Like that. So wire's out of the gun now. Now I can put this wire back through. So I'm going to, well, first we're gonna pretend like we changed the wire spool. So let's say that this wire spool ran out. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take it off you just unscrew this. Notice there's a hole in the back. You see that hole right there? That's gonna go onto this right here. There's like a little dimple right there. So I put this hole over that. And so I'm using my finger to know where it is. And I just push it onto there. And then I can screw this on. This doesn't have to be tight. It's just, just to hold it from falling off. Um, this I can now turn. So the wire is at the top. I'm going to push the wire through like that. I'm going to give myself about six inches using my whelpers. Again, I'm going to cut the wire, cut that kink out and I'm going to feed it through this little black uh, like tube. So it goes through the tube. I'm just gonna help it by turning the wheel through the back tube. And it's gonna go over here into the liner that goes through the MIG gun. So just helping it along, pushing it in. Okay, once once it's into the, the liner of the, the whip, I'm gonna push this down push this back up over the top and then we're all set in here. I'm going to close up the case and I'm going to turn my welder on. Okay. Um, you want your, so if you, Here's the, here's how you choose the process. We want to be on MIG steel C100. That means 100% carbon dioxide. So there I'm on MIG steel C100. It tells me how I'm going to set up the machine. We're not going to do any welding. We're just going to get the, the wire to come out of the to come out of the MIG gun.
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my MIG gun, I'm gonna hold it out straight. So you can see the hose is straight and I'm gonna pull the trigger. What's happening inside is the, the wire spool is turning. And as it turns, it's pushing the wire out. Okay, now that the wire's all the way out, I'm going to end this video and have a good morning.